Yeah, poor opponent. <laughs> so yeah, we are going crazy. We got our combo online. There we go, Conspirator. Yeah, I should grab this Conspirator because the Conspirator is important with like the Solitary Monk also. So we are we are infinite. And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for a crazy, crazy combo deck to start the day off with. We got a deck we're calling Infinite Time Bombs because that's what it is trying to do. Now, this was a viewer submitted deck. That's what the two Ds up here mean. I, I did not build this deck. I did not think about this combo. And, and the viewer that did submit it did say that, that it wasn't their deck either. So I don't know exactly where the deck came from. If you made it, congratulations, you are amazing. Uh, but let's see let's see how it uh, it works and what it's going to do. All right, so the goal of the deck, um, like for our combo to get the infinite time bombs, is we need our auction in play, get the warlord's palace going, that kind of stuff. Level up auction. Once you have your leveled up auction, then you can get a warlord's horde in play. All right, we got our warlord's horde, and so we're gonna get this countdown started. And uh, so that's not to, to begin with. That's not really easy to do, but you know. So this is. If we get the combo like one time in the five games, I'm going to be impressed. All right, so once we have the Warlord's Horde, then we're going to use Promising Future. Grant an allied landmark. My countdown completion effect activates twice. Okay, so we're going to have the uh, Warlord's Horde activation effect happen twice. And so once then once this countdown finishes, then we get two of these Sentinel's Hordes. And so then we'll choose the font, the Fount of Power, this one right here. We want to choose this twice. So we will draw four cards, and our cards will cost two less this round. And so that's the key that they cost two less, because, right, like it usually costs two mana to play a time bomb. But if they cost two less, then it'll be zero mana for a time bomb. All right, so now our cards cost two less. Also, we want to have Zillion put in time bombs, and we're, we need to get a lot of time bombs. So we're going to try to play Zillion a lot. So we're going to have Zillion, we're going to have Retreat Return, Navori Conspirator. Um, I, was, I was surprised there wasn't the, the other two mana recall, or even the one mana recall uh, in here, but but just those for recall, and, and, then sh and then Solitary Monk to recall also. And so we're trying to pick Zillion back up, replay Zillion, play Zillion a bunch, to get time bombs. And once our spells cost two less, then Zillion is zero mana. So we can play like Zillion for zero mana, Conspirator for zero mana to pick it back up, Zillion again for zero mana, you know, Retreat for zero mana. Remember, we just drew four cards also, and so on. And, and we're like predicting. And then we can play for one mana, then we can play Solitary Monk and recall those, and then put your Conspirator and your Zillion back in your hand, go again, play Zillion again, play Conspirator again, play Zillion again, and so on. All right, so now we put a bunch of time bombs in our deck doing that recall stuff. Then we just have to have like one time bomb in our hand from before, from like, you know, while this was happening in this long game. And then we play a time bomb and start the start the chain going and, and then, you know, draw time bomb will draw a car and keep drawing time bombs and play infinite time bombs. So, um, yeah, and if we, we level up Zillion, still has that play effect of create four time bombs. So it still has that same effect if we have a leveled up zillion so that's that's the thing of the de of the deck that's what we're going to try to do we'll have some ways to advance the landmarks a couple of rounds to help the help us get to this warlord's uh horde and everything like that um but yeah that's what that's what our deck's going to do so hopefully we can do it like one time out of five games we will see let's head on over to ranked and play this crazy combo deck infinite time bombs All right, playing against Tarek Shivana. A couple of things for those of y'all watching later on YouTube. This I'm streaming this today on Saturday. This is going to go up a couple of days later because I'm going to be spreading out some of these YouTube videos because Sunday through Friday, I am uh, traveling to help a friend move and stuff. So I won't be able to stream Sunday through Friday. But I got uh, videos to put up throughout the week. Um, but the next time we're going to be playing live and making new videos will be Friday. So Sunday through Thursday, I'll, I'll be gone. All right, as far as mulliganing is concerned, not exactly sure. I think that I will keep Shadow Assassin. No, maybe set it back. We really want to find Auction 
right away, right? Uh, to be able to get that thing going. Vagabond helps us also get the palace going. So I guess we'll have the Vagabond on three. Because we need to need to try to get that Warlord's Horde. Alright, put some time bombs. I kind of like Retreat Return or Vagabond. Really either one. I'll take the Vagabond. Because Vagabond, like we can play the first one for the palace and we can play the second one and advance the palace two rounds. We do, of course, need to find Auction, though. No time to rest. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. Nearly a week. So Sunday through Thursday won't be streaming. And I'm sorry about that. But it's because I have to... They're across the country, so I'm flying up, flying up there, helping them pack, and then driving a truck, moving truck, like 20 hours. For, for a relative, so... Yeah, I'm sorry. So you'll still have, like, the YouTube videos and stuff, but I'll, I'll be back Friday for my next stream. And... Must be nice living off stolen coin. Um... Let's see... What else? Oh, other other little announcement. Of course, the cosmetic donation goal. We are getting there. We're at $46 out of 100. Anybody watching later on YouTube, if you'd like to uh, donate to help pay for just all the expensive cosmetics, if you're enjoying the channel, I would, I would very much appreciate that. If you, There's a donate link in the video description. Um, and if you donate $10 or more, then you can tell me what deck you want me to play and make a, make a video for YouTube. Um, and I will certainly do that. Uh, you can give me a deck code or a deck idea that you want me to build. Anything like that. Okay. So I... I'm kind of planning on Solitary Monk pick all these things up. Yeah, that's... That's kind of awkward, right? Having three Solitary Monks. That doesn't feel very solitary. Could have cast the Concussive Bomb, but I'm just going to block. Do it. Don't really need to. Alright, take six. <laughs> By not casting the Concussive Bomb, I'll have... Alright. I'll have the extra mana to replay Zillion. We need to find auction right now. I think I'm just taking auction and passing on everything else, I think. Even though taking time bombs is... Oh, taking a time bomb is uh, pretty appealing with them going wide and stuff. I could definitely see taking a time bomb. Yeah, alright, we'll do it. So we may draw another time bomb. Alright, no sharp side, or at least I didn't want to. How are they at 11? Promising future? I mean, I guess I could promising future this time bomb. That doesn't seem like the right thing to do, though. We're not taking it. We're taking it back. Cool, I like that card. Alright, most likely playing this Concussive Palm this round. I can do this. Break them. Honor guide me. See, I, I didn't I didn't use the concussive palm on the Tiari before, because hmm. 
just felt like using my mana on other stuff. Wasn't too worried about that attack that they had before. But that too was, was fine. Okay, gonna do that. Going to do this, this, this. I kind of want this solitary monk to die, though. Let's do it like this. Because I don't. Hmm, I don't know. Do I want to play this, this other solitary monk to pick up this solitary monk? I guess maybe I do. Okay, maybe. No, maybe I should have gone and done the other block. I really saying block Tiari, so I feel good about blocking the Tiari. Yeah, for us, the our I think our best time to use Solitary Monk is whenever we're you know bouncing a good amount of stuff and getting good value out of that. Uh, yeah, like later on, if we can get our combo, it's going to be pretty. It's going to be an important card. Yeah, we're definitely going to be looking for auction for sure. I'm gonna skip. Alright, there is a time bomb. Auction! Let's go! I think I'm just gonna deny so I can level up. Yeah, I think that's probably worth a deny. Oh, this game's not over, Omni oh, Raptor. Don't you be conceited over there. Okay, so I want a solitary monk first or auction first? I guess auction first. You cannot run from absolution. Good people don't look the other way. I don't know. This is a lot of mana that I need still to do all the stuff I want to do. I guess I could just not... I guess I don't have to Solitary Monk. I don't know. They're passing round. I could pass round. If I... Promising future, they probably kill the Zillion. Oh, sure. Take your time. I love to be kept waiting. I'm gonna do this. Get a new zillion just in case. Cause I think that they're probably holding on to another concerted strike. Do they want a concerted strike? Mystical levitation requires concentration. I think. Maybe not. We got some spell mana. Do, do, do. Go, floaty crystals. Whee! No, break them. All right, so Will of Ionia, Shavana. There, block there. Au auction striking will get a new one. I kind of want them to play something that kills my auction, of course, because I have this other auction in my hand. So I could have could have blocked the other, you know, the other way with these two. But yeah, our combo is pretty much online, I think. Look at them shaking in their boots. Dang. I kind of want them to play other stuff and kill my... You know, at least kill the auction. 
Okay. Um, we got a promising future of this thing first. I can wait till next turn and have this pop next turn. And, you know, just have all the mana to go along. Alright, we got two extra cards, okay. So my hand is kind of full. Which is a little a bit unfortunate with having the leveled up zillion. Like, I don't want this promising future or um, this other thing. Alright, we'll start here. Draw two. Cards cost one less. Now, we have a full hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, we have a full hand. So, let me get rid of a card. Yeah, or I could play the Twin Disciplines also. Yeah, we got the combo first game. Because, yeah, we are going to go crazy here. Okay. Let's first get some more Zillions in our deck. Yeah, we don't get the return part, but that doesn't matter. Or more, I said more zillions in our deck. Y'all know what I mean. More time bombs in the deck. Oh, I should have taken that Navori Conspirator, shouldn't I? Oh, I haven't targeted any of these allies yet. Yeah, I should have taken the Conspirator. I'm, I'm getting cards out of my hand, of course, because uh, I'm gonna. I need room for like with the Solitary Monk. I suppose you should be now. Okay, so this will put three cards in my hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, cool. Let none disturb my meditation. I do not break rules. I bend them slightly. All right, more time bombs in the deck. I really should have grabbed that conspirator. I'll take take William. Two mana. Yeah, we got enough mana. I'm gonna take William. Yeah, poor opponent. <laughs> so yeah, we are going crazy. We got our combo online. Haven't I been here before? There we go, Conspirator. Yeah, I should have grabbed this Conspirator. Because the, the Conspirator is important with like the Solitary Monk also. So we are... Looking for a we are infinite. Now we can use the Solitary Monk to 
pick these all back up again. Place the warlord's horde. I walk my path alone. Oh, I don't have a. Oh, I guess I don't have a way to draw it, do I? Right now. Hmm. Oh wait, did I mess this up? I guess I messed this up, didn't I? Okay, uh, we're not haven't messed it up completely yet. We we're just gonna have to get this this countdown going from eight to you know less than eight. So we're going to do we'll have you pick up you. That's seven. All right, this is gonna take a while. Oh, this is gonna take a lot of mana though too. Yeah, it's gonna take a lot of mana. Okay, I kind of messed up. Hmm. I shouldn't have chose that up that conspirator when I did. Yeah, I shouldn't have chose the conspirator when I did. Alone, we see things as they truly are. I do not break rules, I bend them slightly. Wait, why am I not just bouncing this? This makes my life a lot easier. I'll take it from here. Don't want to die? Don't do terrible things. Yeah, that makes my life easier. Alright, more time bombs. We good. We good. And silence as the breeze. Scores to settle, crooks to kill. You know how it is. No. Okay. So yeah. So we're we're gonna keep. You know, we had enough man to do it two more times. Yeah. You know, like we. So that. You know, we we're gonna pop that warlord's horde, then draw four, and then we get to play our time. You know, then we're drawing into four time bombs, right? And because uh, that's all that's left in our deck now are time bombs. Because we put so many time bombs into our deck. <laughs> Alright, there we go. It actually worked. It actually worked. Viego Nastas. Okay, we got this thing to start. Let's look for auction and... Zillion, our two champions. Yeah, this deck is about you not giving the opponent the ability to play, basically. Alright, cool. There's a Zillion. I guess doing some time bomb stuff. Could use a promising future on this Warlord's Palace. Get two predicts. We're not taking it. We're taking it back. You must know me, little one. You must. Hmm. Do it. They're getting aggressive. I don't love blocking right here. But I also don't like dying. Alright, looking for auction and time bombs. Skip. Now, when am I? We weren't expecting callers. Hmm. I'll go ahead and just promise you future this thing. Man, why they gotta be so aggressive?
All right, stun that thing, block this thing. We're taking eight, going down to six. Never mind, go down to two. That's a good ride of negation right there. That's a really good ride of negation because I was definitely planning on you know, you know, having multiple of these concussive palms. I was definitely planning on that. Well. I guess they got me. Yep, too aggressive for us. When you play janky infinite combo decks, you can get aggroed by Shadow Isles, that's for sure. And I need both of these cards. Haven't I been here before? Well, we're gonna get three damage in. There you go, make it look respectable. Made it look respectable. All right, one and one. Oh dear. Okay, auction siver. Got to hope that they have a slower hand like our first opponent and not fast like the second one. Cool, cool. All right, we got both champions. Um, I'm still gonna send the future back, I think, because we just don't need that card for a while. Not until we have, like, the Warlord's Pals, which is not easy to have. Alright, we're gonna start with Zill. Over Auction. Because Zill's, Zill's a better blocker immediately. I do not break rules. I bend them. <laughs> time bomb? I think this would be a good time bomb. Uh, Retreat Return honestly looks really nice with Auction and Vagabond. The auction get this thing in place because this will these will advance two rounds. Okay. This is looking not bad. Time bomb. Okay, so now we're gonna have leveled up auction. Very nice, we'll get that. Uh, um, get the second card started. I think I'm gonna go ahead and skip. Yeah, let's skip. Or get Shadow Assassin. If you summon auction level, do you get a seven? Countdown seven landmark? Fixing the world one scoundrel at a time. Don't want to hear that. 
Yeah, why do you get a 7? Oh, because it's it counts the level up as one and then the summon as another? Like, the level up summons it and then summon counts it for another, maybe? I guess you can attack. Cool. Get another one going there. We're pretty close to combo, and we could definitely use like a solitary monk. Considering going Concussive Palm on the 5 2 Ephemeral, or. I got 7 mana. So that's an option, or Chrono Shift, the auction. I'm sorry to say, time isn't really an illusion. Oh, that's true. We are going to need a zillion to combo. Let's Concussive Palm. Villains beware. Not a chance. Yeah, but, uh, like, if this zillion would die, I'm not going to need the other zillion. No, I... I mean, well, the auction had Vulnerable. I, I couldn't keep them from killing the auction. There's an auction right there. Ever. Smells like adventure and money, you mean? You mean? The thing is, I want it to pop next round, right? I don't want it to pop this round. I don't have the mana this round. I, you know, like, I'm, I'm pretty scared of dying. If they can't, if they don't kill me here, we win the game. But I am scared of them killing me right here. It's a lot of overwhelm. Start by draw two. Yep, looking for looking for a stun card. I didn't do it. Will? I guess Will is as good as we can do. 
happen sooner or later. The order rewards its faithful. If they have too much buff, though, we're gonna die. Oh, Sivir gonna g give everything spell shield. All right, well, Will doesn't do anything then. This is justice. So if they just have pump, we're dead. What now? Wait, it doesn't have spell shield to start with, though. Okay. So let's see. Your attack is obvious. You call that sneaky? When is this gonna level up? After seven, this, this. Did I freeze time again? Oh dear. All right, so I guess I do this, and then we'll go to basically nothing. Okay, I need I need it to block like this. I don't know if this is going to help. I don't know if this Chrono Shift is going to save me or not. Hope and pray. Please don't kill me. Let damage happen. They had a plus three. So that should kill me. I don't know if this saves me. I don't think it does. But I gotta hope. No, it doesn't save me. I didn't think it did. Exact lethal. Man. We had it too. We had it too if we weren't dying right here. If they didn't have a, a plus three even. Make Twin Disciplines plus two, not plus three. Yeah, unfortunately, it just buffs after death. That's what I thought was going to happen, but I don't have any other options. Spell Shield, Overwhelm, too good. We had him. If we could have just not been dead right there. So maybe we'd need Tasty Faith Folk. I could see that. I could see that. Kind of go in for like the sh maybe the Shadow Assassin. I know the Shadow Assassin draws a card. Or a Curator or a Time in a Bottle. It hasn't seemed like we really need like three Curators and three Time in a Bottles. Maybe get some life steal in there. Um, we also have like the ancient hourglass. That could we could also we could be playing like a um, instead of the ancient hourglass, we could be playing life steal barrier card. Life steal barrier would really help out against a lot of these decks these days. Like instead of instead of hourglass, like yeah, life steal barrier. I don't like Draven time. No, I wouldn't take out Will of Ionia. No, don't take out Will of Ionia. Take out, yeah, take out like the time. And you're saying take out the Curator. No, you take out the time in a bottle. Curator is better than time in a bottle because Curator you can put back in your hand and, and redo and stuff. Basically all the, t the time in the bottles can, can go. I think, I'd say you could take out like the three time in a bottle, take out a Shadow Assassin, that's force and take out the hourglass. And then you can play like Tasty Fate Folks and like three Tasty Fate Folk and two uh, Lifesteal Barriers. Um. Alright, so that thing's at two. I know a way. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'll change. I'll change like that for for round five for game five, because I think I think those are, those would definitely be good changes. We love it when they run. You cannot run from absolution. Then we'll go ahead and retreat, retreat return the auction. Watch and learn. Of course, if they have like a whirling death, I do have a backup auction. This is justice. Just in case. I want to save the life. Life important. Oh, they just had Natty. Natty whirling death. Natural whirling death, not not just Draven's whirling death. Zillion. We are gonna need you, Zillion. All right, promising future. This is getting. Promising. We're at seven. Quietly now. Yeah, life seal barrier is kind of necessary. Tombs, towns, with all this stuff. These days. I think that's gonna be necessary. <laughs> Depending on me. Not long now. These decks are so aggressive. They don't let us stay alive very off very much. And the world, one at a time. Spell shield is pretty silly. Stop with Ruin Runner. Come on. Yeah, my opponent's playing Draven in auction. Just, uh, basically like Sivir Auction is more aggressive. Yep. Yeah, I mean, we are. Just a moment. Pretty dead. I see every move. I assume they just have pump spells and we're dead. Ruin Runner is our downfall. Overwhelm spell shield. Overwhelm spell shield is messed up. That's just lethal. With just spinning axes even. Time. Okay, so let's make some. Let's try to get this a little bit more defensive, a little better. That's staying alive. So, yeah, get rid of the Hourglass, get rid of a Shadow Assassin, and the Time in the Bottles. Kind of get rid of all the Time in the Bottles, I think. I don't think we really need that card. And then instead, we're going to play Tasty Fate Folk, Spirit's Refuge. Now, is Homecoming better than Will of Ionia? Do you want to like bounce our own thing and bounce their thing? And then, you know, you can get rid of a landmark if you play against Thralls. And it, count, it counts as a target for leveling for leveling up Palace. And we get to bounce our own Concussive Palms and bounce something of theirs. I think Homecoming's better. Because, yeah, you want to bounce your Concussive Palm. Yeah, Homecoming's better. Next question. Is Dancing Droplet better than Shadow Assassin? You know, like, our goal is to just kind of be able to draw a card with this thing. For, you know, this thing will cost zero mana when comboing. Shadow Assassin costs one. We have Conspirator, Solitary Monk, Homecoming. I could see Droplet being better than Assassin. Assassin's just so expensive, right? Like, think of, like, the games that we've played. I've never wanted to play Shadow Assassin because it's just too expensive. I don't know. All right, well, let's keep it Shadow Assassin for now. But that's another thing. Let's let's be thinking about that. You know, like 
while you're watching the game, you know, think about is would droplet be better? Hmm. Well, this is good news and bad news. Oh man. Bad news is Teemo is going to wreck us. I wish I had Droplet for Teemo. Um, good news is maybe they're a little bit slower. No Teemo, no Teemo, no Teemo. But we draw a lot of cards. Do so you think they're like putting Puff Caps in our deck? No. You think they're putting Puff Caps in our deck is a bad idea for them for drawing a lot of cards. But at least. Um, Flesh was weak, but look at me now. If I pick out a positive of that, at least we can put a lot of time bombs in our deck. And then all, every time bomb doesn't have puff caps, but then of course every time bomb draws another card. Villains beware. Inferior design. Strike in with the auction. Wow, then with Peddler. Alright, well this is just the best possible hand. Dang. Teemo and Peddler. Like these are these are the only two cards in the deck that I'm scared of are Teemo and Peddler, and they have Teemo and one Peddler on three. And then I guess this thing just makes Peddler even better, so never mind. So we got to do the combo the first game. So that was really cool. But we're going to be one and four. Most likely. I need you to really help me out, Tasty Fate Folk. So this is the deck we're going to be playing later. Uh, we got a donation deck to play Teemo Ezreal. You know, they, they got Sejuani instead of Ezreal. Um, but same kind of thing. Thanks for that boo. Thank you so much, my man. Hope everything's been going good. I kind of want to let this happen. I know I have the retreat return, but I kind of want to let this happen because this actually is killing the peddler, and I am like super excited about killing the peddler. So I know the auction dies, but I am okay with that, I think. One mana? No, let's, we'll go and retreat return. I'm going to be sad if they save. Cool. If they save the peddler. Yeah, almost five years in one month. Pain is nothing. All right, time puts time to start putting some time bombs in here. Now, when am I? 
So I've leveled up Sedge Bonnie. Join me if you want to live. The Winter's Claw endures. Stand and fight. There's the need always. Swiftly. Uh, that's a greedy attack by them. I'm really surprised they never played these other mushroom clouds. Okay. It's actually not looking too, too bad for us now. Like, they... They really had some things die that they didn't need to have die. Yeah. Uh... To play the easily. <laughs> and we'll get a time bomb to get the party started. Because we need to have card draw. No. I wanted that Navori cons Conspirator. That was part of my combo. I needed that Conspirator. Well, I really hope they don't have the, the three mana landmark. Because... Then we'd be drawing too many cards. I'll just take two. Do I take two? No, I'll probably block. Yeah, we block. Let none disturb my meditation. the strong slaughter the weak all right more time bombs we need we need another recall card all right perfect a conspirator right we need because we need two recall cards and I think we can kind of go right here I think let's go for it oh didn't draw a time bomb or didn't draw a puff cap yeah, this thing's got po promising future, right? So, all right, let's see. Let's see what we got. I don't need rules to know good for bad. Okay, can we do it? Draw two. Nothing really stays the same. We may kill ourselves. All right. Now, we need to get some cards out of our hand, which isn't easy to get cards out of your hand. Yeah, it's gonna be like the question: like, do we actually kill ourselves before we kill them? Sure. Doing that to buff assembly bot, I guess. And that's okay. Hmm. Not exactly sure how I'm supposed to do this. I need another Warlord Horde in play. I'm sorry to say, time isn't really an illusion. Sure feels like an illusion. You think I need another Warlord Horde? Is that what you're trying to say? Now, am I? 
Oh, I can get another Warlord's Horde. What's the other Warlord's Horde gonna do? What are we trying to do with it? this back into play. Some of these back. Some of this again. Some of this again. Uh, yeah, we'll take a time bomb. That's cool. Hopefully I pick the right one that doesn't have um, any whatever it's called. Oh, Curator, let's just get you out of hand. Time marches on, and they do too. What do you call you? Yeah. Stay safe. I'll take it from here. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's true. I could just replace the Zillion instead of the Curator, because then I have, I have the backup Zillion in hand. That's that's true. That's that's what I should have done that. That's true. Swift and silent as the breeze. So what... So what do you want me to do with the second Warlord's Horde? I haven't figured that out yet. What am I supposed to do with that? Yeah, I should have replaced Zillion. Draw to have things cost one less again. So the solitary monk costs zero. Gosh, we were so close to dying. I guess I could play these things and do some attacking. 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so just gotta play two time, you know, three time bombs total. Hopefully not draw eight puff caps before we do <laughs> the damage. I'm gonna go and play this first to again just put four more time bombs in the deck that we know don't have puff caps. And we know there that there are definitely time bombs in here that don't have puff caps. There it's the most likely card to not have a puff cap. So I shall play it. There you go, so I'll choose that, and there we go. All right, got the win. One step closer to a world GGs. Dreams. But there we go. So that was our crazy infinite time bomb combo deck. Uh, definitely like the changes that we made here for, uh, you know, afterwards. You know, I think the Tasty Faithful could, this kind of just helps you out against like your um, your Ruin Runners. Just gives you like a lifesteal blocker and, and, you know, just lifesteal blockers in general. It blocks Merciless Hunter, that kind of stuff. I think that will help out. And then Spirit's Refuge for whenever they challenge and, you know, have Sivers and, you know, all that kind of stuff. I think that, that those are definitely necessary cards. I think the Homecoming, and we even saw that game, I think that's just a up, complete upgrade over Will of Ionia for this deck because there's just so many cards that you want to put back into your hand 
So I like that. So um, yeah, definitely like the upgrades that we had there for round five. Then, because this this deck needs some Nexus healing, you gotta have that. And then uh, Shadow Assassin, I'm not sure. You know, like that's something if you play the deck, feel free to you know try out Droplet. You know, Assassin or Droplet. You're gonna want something to have a little bit of card draw, but not sure which one of those you want. But uh, that's going to be it here, though. That's Infinite Time Bombs. Crazy, crazy combo deck. Um, yeah. So if, if you like taking all the turns in the game, basically, and just never letting your opponent do anything, if you like watching game pieces move throughout zones and taking lots of actions, uh, yeah, this could be the deck for you. All right, but that's going to be it here for this Infinite Time Bomb deck. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.